Hey guys, this is going to be a really quick video. Um, really excited. This just um, came today. Um, I've been playing with it for the last uh, couple hours. As you can see, it's almost 1 o'clock. I'm going to be going to bed in a sec. But, um, yeah, in case you guys don't know what this is, this is a um, block, it's called a block eruptor. It's a USB ASIC mining device, and this, these things are absolutely awesome. Um, it gets 333 mega hashes per device. They're only about $44. So you can buy them off Amazon, BitMet, just about anywhere. Um, yeah, these these are probably one of the most cost-effective ASIC solutions that is out there right now, as this only uses I think 1.2 watts. And it gets the same hashing power as a couple thousand dollar graphics card, so it's it's really awesome. It comes in a little paper or cardboard box, but I took it out. Of course, I was playing with it. But this is how it comes. It's just in this protective case, um, some foam. Let me get out. Setting this thing up is like simple as hell. It took me only about maybe a couple minutes to do it. Let's get it open here. So you can see you got the PCB on the back and then the ASIC is underneath this um, black heat sink here. Now one thing that I want to try and do is develop a water block for these. Shouldn't be too hard. Um, for water cooling these devices because you can get up to, you can, if you have um, a Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pis are absolutely amazing for this, but, and a powered USB hub, you can um, create clusters in the multi giga hash range. Um, now, you will need a, uh, a USB port that will put out 500 milliamps of power. Um, other than, if you do not have one that puts out that much, you're going to have to get a powered. Remember, powered uh, USB port or USB hub. Now, I'm going to show you how to set this up. Oh crap, I just put it back in the thing. Darn it. I'm trying to be very careful here with doing it with only one hand. These are also overclockable, but of course, you're going to have to put a new. Um, what do you call it? Cooling solution on it. Now, even though these have a heat sink on them, I highly recommend using a fan because these get very hot if you don't. And, of course, you don't want to burn them. I got the file server all out here. But over here, I'm using... Um, Mark 1 has been taken apart. Um, currently, I'm developing Mark 2. The other supercomputer that was using these parts, but it's going to be using different parts. Um, this is just a simple, like, old motherboard. That's all you need, really. I don't really have a Raspberry Pi right now, so that's why I'm using this. But um, I've just got the regular fan connector that's hooked up to the fan. There you go. It's This is literally as easy as taking this and... See if I can do this with one hand while managing the camera. Plugging it in the USB port. And then the light will blink. And then it will go solid. Now that light blinks every single time it gets a share, which I which is a feature that I really like, because then you get to see how many shares you're getting, and trust me, you get a lot. <laughs> Let's go back over to the computer. Uh, oops. I'm tired, I'm not thinking properly. <laughs> it's late at night, I've been working. Alright. Now, you probably can't see that very well, but I will try. I will put all these commands in the in the Thing, don't worry. But look, all you need to do is do a sudo apt get 
of those packages. I will put, like I said, I'll put them all in the description. All the commands in the description. And um, then you basically clone the Git repository of BFG Miner. You can use CG Miner, but I just like to use BFG Miner for this because that's what it said in the instructions. Um, you go into the directory, you do slash autogen, sh, configure. Um, I configured it with disabled OpenCL because I'm not using a GPU, I'm using the ASIC. And then make, and then it compiles. And then just using your favorite pool, I'm using, um, wait, that's the wrong one. No, I don't want VT signals. I'm using um, slushes pool for this. Um, it's just BFG minor, and then of course, all your stuff. So, and then yeah, and then you just hit enter. And I have to run this as sudo for some reason. Oh jeez, entering password with one hand. This should be fun. Oh. Starts up BFG minor 320. Then it will come up with this screen. I suggest running this under screen as well if you're going to if this is going to be a headless device. But yeah, as you can see, there is the device starting up, um, and it's already got two shares and the hash rate is climbing, it's at 306 right now. And it's got two shares accepted already. But yeah, this is a very, very, very awesome um, device for if anybody who's wanting to get into, or wanting to get into Bitcoin mining but don't necessarily have the funds to support like a full scale GPU or GPU mining rig or an Avalon ASIC or something like that. And if I'm not mistaken, actually, these are using Avalon chips. So, now let's go back over here to this. If you watch the device, in a second, yeah, see, when it blinks, that's when it accepts, accepts a new share. And it seems like it gets some quite a bit. So, overall, um, for a review type rating, as of now, I need to clean my desk, holy crap. As of now, I give these a 5 out of 5. They're awesome little devices. I am very impressed. And, um, yeah, I'd like to thank um, Kitsune over at uh, Time of Eve Network for sending this to me. Thank you, bro. I will give you guys a link to the um, their TeamSpeak and IRC. Um, you can find Bitcoin talk, um, what else? Programming talk, all sorts of fun stuff in there. And also, Kitsune has um, also found an our TeamSpeak server. So if you guys hop on there too, you'll probably find him. But yes, Bitcoin. It's awesome. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and uh, comment, rate, subscribe.